Hey there, YouTube. Silver Hair Stacker here. Yep, I'm the guy who, part-time in retirement, buys stuff and sells it on eBay, hopefully for a huge profit so I can get reach. Reach, I tell you. <laughs> this is a Royal Deluxe Deluxe. Deluxe, Royal Deluxe. 1936 Portable. Here's the case. Portable typewriter. And just because it's portable doesn't mean it doesn't weigh a lot. So why would I buy this to sell? Well, you have to get them at the right price. I paid five. Five dollars for this typewriter at the garage sales a week ago. And uh, it will sell like this. It's got, uh, it's in working condition, except for, you can see when I type, the carriage is not moving along. So let me show you what's wrong. So yeah, the underside, the underbelly of the typewriter. There's the carriage. And you see that little black round thing right there. That is a spring, and on the spring is a string, a string on the spring. And that goes down underneath all this internal stuff. There's the underneath side of the carriage. And on the carriage, there's a little, little hook right there. And this, there's a little string that hooks on that hook goes down the carriage underneath and hooks on to the spring but the string is broken uh yeah i would be broken too if i was born in 1936 <laughs> that's a long time ago so the goal is to take the old the old string off, measure it, and cut some new string. Right here I have some old uh, Berkeley braided nylon. This is 20 pound test. I looked at a YouTube video and they recommended 30 pound, but uh, I didn't have any 30 pound and I don't feel like ordering a new roll of string when I think the 20 pound will be good enough. 20 pounds is a lot. If you've ever caught a 20 pound fish, you know what I'm talking about. So, I will uh, attempt to do the repair. I wish I was a good cameraman so I could show you what all I'm doing, but uh, if I'm unsuccessful, I probably won't publish this video. <laughs> all right. So here we go. On this end, I tied a really thick knot. You know, you go over and over and over on itself until it's a pretty thick knot. This end, I tied my loop. And I hope I've got it close to the right length. I think I'm pretty close. All right. So on the video I watched, you have to turn this uh, spring four revolutions on itself and it starts getting pretty tight as you go. So as you get it wound, then you poke the knot of your string into that uh, slot right there and then thread the string through its particular place to go down to the hook. And you get all that done and hopefully you got it made. So, results are, did I get it working? Well, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got the new string installed, and now you can see, well, we got a little jam here. But yeah, it's working well. I hear the little ding on the... Just, just fine. So... 
why would I go to that much trouble? I spent, uh, I spent a good amount of time on this. One, I think, is because I like vintage stuff. I just do. This typewriter is what? 1936. Uh, almost 90 years old. And the fact that it still works is a testament to products made in the United States during the 1930s. This is older than World War II. Imagine that. So, I like working with older stuff. It's, and you get a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, it was very finicky putting in that new string. I had to kind of invent a few ways to get it installed. <laughs> And, uh, but the fact that I was able to do it, and I can't take all the credit. Um, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube, very good videos from people who know typewriters a lot better than I do. But, uh, because it's now working, I can now probably sell this typewriter for about $70 more than I could have without doing the little repair. So... So there's that. I probably spent two hours so <laughs> all together. I got frustrated at least twice and just stopped and did something else for a while. But, uh, yeah, finally got it working. And it was kind of fun. And it, it felt like a, a little sense of accomplishment, you know? A little, uh, a little rewarding to get something like this going again. So, anyway... This is fun for, for fun for me. It's not a huge money maker, but uh, yeah, you know, why not? Why not? Why not? All right, this is your Silver Harris Tucker saying good luck, God bless. Go out and find you a couple of old boat anchors, like old Royal typewriters, and make a few bucks selling them on eBay after you get them working. <laughs> but wait, I have another. <laughs> I have another typewriter with the same problem I also bought, bought it at the same time for five dollars as well it's not a royal but uh yeah it should be fun working on it too all right talk to y'all later bye